everyone hope you all are doing good today we are going to discuss about performance analytics components and uh, object okay what are the components and objects of performance analytics so our agenda is performance analytics components and objects in the before section we uh, we talked about introduction okay of performance analytics like what is performance analytics okay all this stuff and now we are talking about the performance analytics components and objects okay so the main components um, of performance analytics are like um, indicator okay breakdown widget dashboard data collector analytic hub or kpi details okay these are the components okay so we will discuss uh, not in brief or like in detail okay let's yes let's see what are indicator breakdown which a dashboard data collector so all the steps okay and examples okay so before we start some practical demo we need to understand what all these terms okay of performance analytics so then uh, it will be uh, easy to practice okay so first one indicators okay so indicators what are indicators okay for example uh, an object which defines a specific measurement you can count or calculate to access the process of performance and forecast future trends okay for example um, uh, you have a number of uh, incidents okay number of open incidents number of SLS, average uh, SLA count. So all these are called indicators. Okay, examples are like, you know, number of open incidents, average customer satisfaction survey, okay, uh, completed surveys. So all these are called indicators. Okay, so these are the examples uh, in incident management KPI, you have average open incidents, okay, is a widget, okay. So you can see here the average open incidents. This is 16 days, okay? This is an um, indicator, okay? Number of open incidents, this value is coming from indicators, okay? Open incidents by age, these values are coming from indicators. So all these are called indicators. Inside the KPIs, we have indicators, okay? So these are called indicators, okay? So next one, breakdown. What is breakdown, okay? Breakdowns offer a deeper data insight by letting you to analyze indicator trends by specific attributes. For example, before you see the number of open incidents, okay? So I want to see number of open incidents by priority. So that's something, some attribute you are applying on the indicator is called breakdown, okay? The ability to group okay or break the indicator scores by qualitative attributes such as uh, priority category or assignment group okay so open incidents by priority open incidents by category open incident by assignment group so these are called breakdowns okay a breakdown is configured as a reference like assignment group a choice field like a category or priority okay or something like that okay for example uh, this is an analytical hub okay of number of open incidents okay number of open incidents and when we are trying to apply some priority okay these are the breakdowns we have okay breakdowns like moderate okay so the score will be changing or low incidents number of low incidents these are the scores okay so these are the breakdown you are applying for an indicator okay so that is called a breakdown next widget what is widget widget is nothing but the presentation of the indicator score formatted as a single summary value a historical trend or using one of many other visualization types okay for example if you see the presentation of an indicator score formatted as a single summary value for example we told average um, average age average age open incidents is an uh, indicator 
okay so you have some value okay so that presentation the visualizations of an indicator is called a widget okay so this is having a single score this is having some trend this is a list and trend uh, some chart this is some uh, art okay and this is some trend okay so the visualization of an indicator okay is a widget it's nothing but an widget okay so how you want to represent your indicator score okay so that is called a widget okay next one a dashboard a dashboard is nothing but containing a multiple widgets that together process or service or target a specific audience okay dashboard use both performance analytics widget and reports okay you can you can contain both okay for example in this dashboard incident management is a dashboard and inside the dashboard you have different tabs like incident overview incident open incident new so different tabs okay this all contains widgets okay multiple widgets together is called a dashboard and inside this dashboard you can add reports also okay for example number of open incident as a single score instead of an performance analytics widget you can add a normal report also here okay so the dashboard is nothing but a group of widgets on a group of like a performance analytics widgets or a reports okay you can together consider as a dashboard okay so that's an example data collector what is data collector okay uh, the process that takes a periodic snapshot of your business process tab business tables and calculate metric scores to show in widgets and dashboards okay so for example um, you have a business process tables called changes incident project hr cases all these are called business process tables okay so and this is an um, performance metric tables so if we go back one step okay so this data like 16 days okay open uh, 15 all these are coming from metric scores these are called scores okay so in scores the data is collected every day okay and historical data also okay every day and historical data also so this is a collection job so what it will do the incident is created today for today's job uh, it will take a snapshot how many incidents are created today okay okay what are the incident uh, which has and group everything it will take a snapshot and store the data in the performance metric tables okay performance metric tables this we will explain what are the tables what are the code tables we have how the data is collected so everything we will explain um, in upcoming sections okay so what it will take it will take a snapshot okay daily and it will store the scores in the metrics using this metrics tables the indicators will calculate okay so that's about a data collector okay data collector next analytical hub or kpi details okay yeah analytical hub is nothing but an um, uh, for example you have indicator okay number of uh, open uh, incidents okay then indicator to analysis more detailed analysis on that particular indicator we use analytical hub okay the analytical hub for, a, for an individual indicator displays a historical trend in an interactive chart okay so let's see so this is an analytical hub this is the number of open incidents indicator okay analytical hub you can see you can see the statics okay you can see the threshold here okay you can see the score trend how the score is trending okay you can see the forecast so upcoming future how it will be okay you can set some targets and you can set some breakdowns here okay like or oh, priority category assignment group state age assigned to all these are called breakdowns okay and uh, also you can uh, show if you click on show records it will show the records okay so 
this is to analyze this more on number of open incidents at daily. Okay, you can see the uh, how many incidents are today. Okay, what is the target? Okay, what is the gap? Okay, what is the direction? So everything you can do a retail analysis on the analytical hub. Okay. So that we are going to explain in upcoming sessions some more details of what is this, what is this, what are these things, everything we will discuss later. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.